it's worth noting that this is not a paid endorsement or review. I am not being paid to say anything specific about the tires other than just give my honest review. They seem pretty confident in their wheel system um, and the reviews on their website uh, kind of tell the same story. Now I like to review hotels, like really nice hotels. Um, so <laughs> if you're watching this and you, and you think, you know, maybe we want Christian to come to a nice hotel and review a nice hotel, I could do that for you. Today is an exciting day. For um, you. For everyone. For you. More, more, more for you. Um, Nate has been talking about this and he has been working on this for I don't know how long. He loves safety. The tire issue to me is important because, you know, it's, it's almost a science to pair the right tires with the right rig, the right axle setup weight distribution and all that um, in order to avoid a blowout but people still have blowouts uh, with the right pairing and people say it's well China made tires well that's not always true because there's just as many stories about US made tires uh, with blowouts and it can range from anything from uh, improper maintenance dry rot unequal uh, load balancing improper tire inflation to me there's really no conclusive way to guarantee guarantee the tire thing but I will do this review and I am excited about the wheel system. I am on top of the fifth wheel right now. I've used a tape measure and I'm measuring out the height of the highest part which is the forward air conditioning unit and we are at 13 feet 3 inches. 13 feet 3 inches. The representative for Bohr Wheel Systems claims that I should only go up about one inch. Semi trucks are about 13 feet six inches, so I should still be able to clear most any bridge I encounter, which is a uh, big fear of mine. So these are the new wheels and tires. They look really big, so I'm kind of concerned about the, uh, the clearance. Hi right, Jason. Hey. Thanks man. Right. That was awesome. Thank you. What a great guy. Just had the new wheels and tires put on. They look all fancy. So there's something about these uh, this bore wheel system, and this is a totally unscientific thing, but I don't know, it just I'm going faster than I normally do, which is not a great thing, but it's just, the, the rig just seems like it's pulling smoother. I don't know. I try and normally keep it around 60, so I'm gonna back down to 60, but definitely feels smoother. I like it. After we had our tire blowout, we decided to upgrade all of our tires. We got Samson Load Range G tires, same wheel system uh, but they were the 16 R's. We did that and they were they were gonna work just like any other standard trailer tire but the issue is they're they're prone to malfunction and what I'm about to show you is what typical 16 R tires do when you're making a tight radius turn. So what you're watching right now is the 16R Samsons that were on our trailer before. They were on the stock wheels that came with the trailer. That twisting that you're seeing right now where it looks like the tire is going to pop right off the wheel, that is a problem that is fixed 
by having the 19 and a half wheel system. Basically, a 16R wheel system is going to have a higher tire profile or aspect ratio than what a 19 and a half inch wheel system is going to have. That's going to lead to more bending. I'm not being very clear about this, so I'm just going to show you a diagram. So I've had these wheels and tires sent to us by Bohr Wheel Systems on for just over two months, and I gotta say, I am honestly impressed. The tire twist situation, that was the most impressive thing. Uh, the old ones, it just, it, it really felt like those tires were gonna pop off. I, I know that doesn't normally happen, but that's a lot of stress on that tire. With the 19 and a half Bohr Wheel System, that, that tire twist, it's virtually non-existent. I tried my hardest backing up, tight turns, pulling forward, tight turns. I just could not recreate that dramatic kind of twisting action um, on the dual axle. It'd probably be even more impressive on a triple axle. I see some of those toy haulers driving down the road and that's got to be some, some serious, serious twisting. Okay, overall impressions, I'm very impressed with the bore wheel system. Um, we've had them for a little over two months. We've covered four different states. I'd put it at about five to 700 miles. They've just been handling really well. You just watched the tire twist demonstration. So clearly much less deformity. Um, I'm very happy about that. If that were the only thing, I would still be happy but they've been handling better as well. I think I covered that, but they've just, it's a much smoother pull. Um, I thought it was maybe just in my head, but after putting a couple hundred miles on them, it, it's very obvious to me now. I'm, I'm very, very happy. So, as I mentioned before, I was concerned with the overall height. We've passed under countless bridges so far, but I want to conclusively tell you uh, where we're at height-wise. I say conclusively, but this is, you know, suspension differences, weight differences, but I'm gonna say we're gonna be within, I'm gonna say we're gonna be within an inch regardless. If it doesn't look level, because the camera's kinda twisted, but, okay, we are at, that's surprising, we're at 13 feet five inches. That's a net gain of two inches. Now, there could be differences in the terrain, you know, I was in a parking lot last time I measured it. Uh, we're at a campground now. The, f the ground probably isn't level. Um, I'm still under that 13.6 mark, uh, which I still have great confidence that we won't have any trouble with any bridge clearances. Slightly higher than I expected. Nothing to be concerned about, though. Um, I'd say it's well worth the trade-off. So my final thoughts on the bore wheel system, which I received with the Phoenix, I believe that's how you say Phoenix, FMT 306F uh, tires. I'm really, really happy with them. You know, there's the smoother pulling, there's the less sidewall uh, deformation, and that's great. Uh, but what that does is it's less stress on the tire, uh, which is going to lead to fewer blowouts. Um, and, and that's the whole idea here. And you think, okay, tire blowout on a trailer. What does that mean? It's basically a flat tire. People get flat tires all the time. What's the big deal? These tires, you know, this is a 15,000 pound fifth wheel. That's a lot of weight. Some of these toy haulers are 22,000 pounds. Uh, you've got a lot of weight on those tires. These tires are pressurized from, uh, I think, 80 PSI to 110 PSI. I mean, there there's a lot of pressure in these tires. When our tire blew on, uh, thankfully we had just pulled off the highway, but when our tire blew, it sounded like a cannon. These trailer tires, they don't just blow out. I mean, they take part of the fifth wheel with them. We were going 30 miles an hour when ours happened, so thankfully there wasn't a lot of damage. But highway speeds, 60, 70, I've seen guys doing 75, 80 miles an hour. When a tire blows out doing that speed, you, there's a lot of damage. These are some heavy duty tires and wheels. I am very happy with the system. I feel very confident uh, towing now. Um, 
I don't think I could have enough good things to say about uh, Joel, my contact with uh, bore wheel system and um, commercial tire with how everything was just set up. They were delivered in the very small time frame that we were going to be in that part of Washington, and they were installed uh, within an hour. Uh, just great service, great communication with the company. I would definitely do business with them again.